as for our last uh, uh, discussion uh, we have seen how to create an EJP file and how to create a, a simple EJP project and how we are going to create a new domain and how we are going to deploy on and other things so now we are going to see how we are going to test our EJP changes okay and I had to uh, tell you something uh, I'm I just uh, installed some different version of JDeveloper now because that VLC is consuming a lot of memory so it is it's working very slow so I went to 11G now okay so it's again the same I'm going to use the uh, as the, uh, the domain creation and all it is it remains the same you can go to run and you can start server instant it will pop up the the host information and you can start working on it okay so uh, since the server is already created this is my console and this is my server console okay let's see how we are going to create a client file for that okay so you don't have to specifically write a code uh, J developer internally it provides an option to create a client for your EJP bean file so what basically you need to do is just go to your uh, bean file and right click and there is an option called new java new sample java client which is nothing but it will create the uh, uh, the lookup for the EJP and the get initial contest information okay so I'm going to create a client now client okay so integrated web logic server okay okay see this is what happened when you create a client file this is nothing but this is trying to load your web logic server and which is there in the localhost okay it will it will basically it will pull all the information like what is the bean deployed in your server service and what are the JNDs available everything should be available in the initial context and you can uh, this is your EJP lookup. It's nothing but this is the mapping name of your EJP. See, this is the EJP mapping name. Okay, so this is my EJP mapping name and this is my location of my interface. Okay, so from context, I'm looking up for this particular address. When you're calling this address, it is kind of searching this particular JND into your WebLogic server because it is already deployed in my server if you want you can go to your server and go to deployments and uh, you can find a uh, student EJP here okay so the deployment is already done now we are going to run this method okay before run this method I need to call the method which I implement which I created okay this is my re object reference for the interface so the method which we created is say hello okay uh, the say hello is nothing but it, it 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 doesn't have any input parameters so the implementation is very simple when you call the eject method it will just print hello that's it okay so I uh, the client is ready so I'm going to execute the matter now just right click and run this and you'll see the output in the web logic server console see it is printed hello okay okay let's modify the interface and see how it will work I'm, I'm going to modify my interface like uh, I'm going to uh, pass a parameter string name and the same name which I'm going to same interface I'm going to override it here string name and the, my, my, the editor which I'm going to print hello mister and the name which is given by the, the client file is nothing but the input data so whenever you make a change please make sure you have to deploy the changes or else it won't work just deploy into integrated server it will take a while okay what is this error message say hello it cannot apply to okay what is wrong okay so this is a problem so I have a client which is calling my interface method but I have to input the I have to uh, pass the input now okay so uh, let's run this we'll see whether it has to print hello mr. Arun and let's run this and okay what is happening here okay method not found okay the initially the, the deployment was not done that is a problem just right click and deploy into your web logic server and it will take a minute or just deploy it in a seconds 
okay it is done deployment is done now we can run the method let's clear the console let's right click and run okay it's executed and see here this is a uh, input which I am passing from my EJP client and this is the implementation which is there in my interface so hello mister and the input data Arun so hello mister Arun this is how the EJP will work so whenever you make a change make sure it's deployed and you'll modify the input parameters or whatever changes you made and uh, and another important thing and another important thing is uh, when you run the application you need to map some jar files into your class path which is nothing but WL client file normally it won't throw in the exceptions but in case if you are getting exception like saying uh, org dot uh, weblogics there is some error I am not exactly sure about the error, error description if any exception comes so what you need to do is go to uh, you need to add the specific jar file into your uh, class path so the class path here go to your project and right click and go to libraries and class path and add new jar directory I kept the jar file in my desktop okay where it is where is it okay another desktop I have a folder called jars and under the four jars I have a WLS see this is a client file which you need to add into your class path in case if you are getting any errors that is relevant to weblogic okay in this case I don't I'm not getting any errors here so I don't have to add it actually but uh, this is just for your information if you are getting any exception just make sure you have the WL full client jar and you're adding into your class path okay just give it a try and let me know if you guys have any clarification I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video thank you